Friends, I am seeing something that is completely disturbing to me. And when I say to me, I mean as an American first, then I mean as a member of the black community. I'm seeing people, white people, that are getting down on their knees and asking for forgiveness for nothing that they ever did wrong. It is disgusting. Now, I understand so many people out there in the white community, you want to say, I'm not a racist. You feel this guilt. You feel guilty over the color of your skin. And you feel guilty because the mainstream media and black folks want you to believe that oppression is your fault, that racism is your fault, that all the injustices that black folks have ever gone through is your fault. Well, they are wrong. They are dead wrong. You don't have to feel guilty for anything. If you're a good person, if you're somebody that treats people with respect, with dignity, you care about your family, you care about others, you may not even see color. All of this is just totally foreign for you. So many messages I'm getting from people that say it's foreign. I'm, I'm not a racist. I've never looked at people like that. That is the majority of America, friends. Yet we've got a mainstream media that is hell-bent on creating racial division in this country, and it's disgusting. It disgusts me, and it's sad that so many good people out there feel the need to say, I'm not a racist, and I'm sorry for my ancestors, and you are actually getting down on your knees in front of black folks. Friends, those black people are racist. I'm just going to say it like it is. They are the real racist. And you don't kowtow to racists of any color. You don't go along with anything they say. You don't agree with anything they say. You should just high step yourself away from anybody of any color that says, you need to do this to me because of the color of your skin. You better just walk away, feel confident to walk away, keep your head up high, keep your shoulders back, and you understand that you are doing the right thing. It is disgusting to me. That in this country, the greatest country in the history of the world, with the most opportunities given to all people, including the black community, that there are black individuals out there that feel so bitter inside for, them, for their own issues. People got issues. Maybe they dealt with one person that was racist. Maybe they dealt with a couple instances. Maybe they dealt with a racist cop. That doesn't mean all people are racist. That doesn't mean all people owe you an apology. That doesn't mean all people need to be uh, on their knees begging for forgiveness. If you're somebody out there that thinks that you have the right to demand somebody get on their knees and ask you for forgiveness, you disgust me. You got some real issues. And it's not with any person on this planet. It's with yourself. You hate yourself so much that in order to make yourself feel better, you got to make somebody else try to make, uh, try to applaud you. That's what's really going on, no matter what color. But right now I'm talking to all the black folks that think it's their duty to make white people feel beneath them. That is racist. That's the definition of racism. You're being racist. And you need to knock it off. And to the white community or anybody that's felt guilt, on behalf of the black community, forgive us. I didn't do it, but I'm going to take the blame. Forgive us, for we don't know what the heck we're doing. Don't paint us all as these high-minded, pompous asses that feel like everybody owes us an apology. Don't paint us all bad. Because we're not. But on behalf of the black community, please forgive us and keep on going about your business. Live your life to the best that you can, as we all should every single day. And together, we will unite under one umbrella of love and love for each other and love for America. And we will together make this country greater than it's ever been. And all the rest of the people that, got, that have issues with race, they can just... They can just fluff off to the side, but don't give them any attention. David J. Harris Jr. here. If you like my messages, please share this and subscribe to my podcast. I know you'll love it. The David J. Harris Jr. Show.